All right, what is up people? It is like 80 degrees, which gets me super excited. I am further south than I have been in the past couple videos. Right now, I, uh, I'm in Maryland, but I'm heading further south to Virginia, North Carolina, all that. Hopefully timing it perfectly for a good couple of videos, finding a bunch of snakes. Um, I'm just stopped right now. Um, gonna flip some cement and whatnot, see if I can turn up a snake on the way down, but otherwise I'm gonna keep on jetting down the road and uh, I'll let you guys know what I find. Here's a particularly good looking rock. Piece of concrete, I guess. Oh man, that looks so good. All right, so uh, first snake of the trip comes from Maryland in this concrete pile. I was hoping for something red and black and white, but ended up with this little worm snake, which is a pretty predictable first snake of the trip. I was actually just on the phone with Alex a couple minutes ago, and uh, he told me the first snake of the trip for me is gonna be a worm snake. And turns out he's right. Pretty funny. I'm gonna put this guy back into this pile of rocks. The size of the spider. And ooh, big wolf spider, I think at least. All right, finally made it down to uh, Virginia. And I'm flipping some boards. Oh, there's a slimy sound in there. I don't know what kind of slimies they have. Whoa, down here. It might be an Atlantic Coast slimy. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to look it up. Just open his mouth. He has slimed the absolute crap out of me too, because he's all warm and charged up. But I guess that's my first slimy of the year um, of any variety or species. So I'm just gonna put him back down here. And that's why they call him Slimy Salamander. There's another ancient board. Good tunnels under this, but I don't know. Nothing today. There's a skink, or two skinks, and a bunch of fire ants. All right, let's see about this bad boy. Dang. You can see where the snakes have been. Right there, there's a pretty clear snake track, I would think. Too bad. There's a good looking piece. All right, well, it's the evening time, and this is the first cool snake of the day. That's pretty sweet. I didn't expect that. Nice little rough green snake. What a nice surprise. Go ahead and pick this guy up. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. Aside from maybe mistaking it for a blade of grass, when you, get, when you see these guys in the road, it's pretty unmistakable. I knew what it was immediately, and I was like, uh, oh my god, I was like, is that really a green snake already? Um, it's kind of the evening time now. I didn't really have a whole lot of time to flip, and a bunch of the flip sites I went to have gotten cleaned up uh, since I last saw them a few years ago, unfortunately, but this guy is a welcome find and definitely makes up for the lack of flip sites, and I think tomorrow there should be no shortage of flipping too, so... We'll see what we can find tonight. It's a really warm night for this early in the season, and I'm expecting to see more snakes on the road crossing, but this is pretty awesome. All right, so check this out. Should be pretty cool. He's gonna just disappear right into this stuff. So he's made to blend in perfectly in this environment. And that's his camouflage, which he uses for A, evading predators, but also catching dragonflies and grasshoppers and other insects like that. I mean, you'd be walking by and you'd never see this guy, especially if he was further in the bushes like he's going now. Sweet. Gonna keep cruising around, hike a little bit, and uh, see what we can turn up. gonna be a menace. 
All right, we got, whoa, got a big erythrogaster, red-bellied water snake. I would like to get better footage of him, but he is going to be an absolute pain in the ass. All right, lunging, trying to bite. I'm gonna make sure he gets across. There's a car coming, and uh, then I'm gonna keep cruising. But hopefully that's a good sign. Right, so uh, I only really saw two snakes crossing the road. One I wasn't able to stop for, but it made it across. There's just a lot of traffic. And now if you can hear it, um, I'm on the edge of a wetland, just walking the shoulder of the road here, hoping that I get lucky and turn something like a mud snake up foraging. It's actually still remarkably warm for this time of year, so we'll see if I get lucky. Um, and I'll let you guys know what I find. All right, just still on the side of the road here. And if it'll focus, there we go. We have rough green number two of the evening. This one was sleeping. He's kind of being woken up by my light, but I'm not really getting any closer. Uh, they like to sleep in vegetation at night like this. Sometimes you get lucky and you see their white bellies. It's pretty neat. But uh, I'm just going to leave this guy alone because we got a good look at the other one. Going to keep walking and keep a lookout for other ones. All right, I'm looking at another rough green from a distance. You can see it from all the way out here, that white belly. I don't know if it's ever going to focus on that guy with all these vines and whatnot. But you can see him mid-frame, that coil that goes back and forth. Pretty easy to spot at night like this. When you find these big patches of green briar, uh, you can kind of expect there to be at least one of them in there if it's a you know big enough, sunny enough patch. But uh, pick that up from Alex. <laughs> He's pretty good at finding these guys. All right, so this is what the behind the scenes on a lot of these trips looks like. Uh, it got pretty windy tonight, and I didn't see much on the road, so right now I'm fashioning a gourmet peanut butter and jelly, and that's going to be dinner for tonight, um, and then later on the trip I'm going to be kind of closer to some more, you know, chain restaurants and whatnot, so uh, we'll get into that, but I'm just kind of settling in for the night. I'm about to head to my campground in a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to plan out the day tomorrow, get a good night's sleep, and uh, hopefully we find some king snakes in the morning. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Oh yeah. On my way to the campground, I just cruised this guy. Little black rat snake. Or I guess just eastern rat snake, because here it's a little bit ambiguous. Um, in terms of color phase and whatnot, but uh see this guy next to my boot. He's just a wee little guy. <laughs> Pretty neat. Kind of surprised to see a snake at this hour. Ooh, he's pretty though. Ooh. Sweet. I'm going to take a cell phone picture and let this guy off the road. There you go, bud. All right. Well, it is the next day now had a pretty awful night of sleep because uh, the wind was ridiculous. It was howling and it was so loud and the tent was blowing back and forth. And I'm a heavy sleeper, um, so it was bad. But anyway, I'm going to uh, get flipping. Here's the first snake of the day under a roadside board. As you can hear, the traffic is probably really loud, but he's deep in shed, uh, just hanging out there, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. All right, so I just got permission to access a guy's property to check out some abandoned structures here. A couple quick tips on how to do that. Usually I'll find the structure, check for posted signs, then uh, if it seems sketchy enough that I need to ask for permission, what I'll do is I'll find the closest house, business, or whatever, ask them first if they know who owns the property. Usually they will if it's not them, 
And sometimes if you're lucky, which happened in this case, they'll give the property owners a call. Sometimes property owners will come to come speak with you. Just explain what you're doing. Say you're a wildlife photographer, biologist, whatever, looking for snakes to take pictures of. If you find a venomous snake, you can even remove it. And uh, usually people have no problem with that. Um, I usually get yes as an answer. I've only been turned down a couple times when uh, I approach it like that. So yeah, gonna get after it. Here's a very intact uh, turtle shell. It's from a slider. Something ate this guy. Another turtle shell. This time a box turtle. Looks like this one may have gotten injured, like hit by a car or something. You can see where the shell got cracked right there. And I think it made it off the road before dying and being scavenged or predated, but kind of interesting. All right, so it's been a bit of a tough day. Um, moving on to cruising at this point I'll let you guys know if I get anything but so far it's just been racers and stuff like that which uh, which we tend to see a lot of so um, we'll see what happens here with the prefrontal movement coming a little later First snake of the night is one I was really hoping to find. I haven't seen one of these in like two years. This is a uh, swamp snake, if I'm correct. Oh, unless, oh, no way. It's a glossy crayfish snake. I thought it was a swamp snake. Look at that. Oh, it was so dark, I thought it had to have been a uh, swamp snake, but let's check out the belly on this guy. Oh, come back here. Would have been a massive swamp snake. This is only my second one of these ever, and look at that. That is super, super cool. We're in low light right now, so my camera's kind of bugging, trying to focus, but super dark individual, I think, for the species. I've, I've seen one before, and it was quite a bit lighter than this, but um, I don't know, maybe this is the usual for this area. <laughs> at a glance, it almost looks like a rainbow snake. It's pretty crazy when you see it from underneath like that. But uh, just a crayfish snake, still really cool. Here's what it looks like if I cast some light on this snake. Super cool. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. All right, gonna move this guy off the road here. Let it go on its way. Just trying to make sure it goes the right direction. Just went right down in the muck. Just like a mud snake would. That's cool. I'm gonna keep cruising. Next snake of the night here is just a water snake. Oh, there's actually a car coming, so I'm gonna try to make sure it gets off the road real quick. There we go. Another water snake here. This is a banded water snake. Those kind of diagnostic eye stripes. They're a little more pronounced further south, like say in the Florida videos. Bandits down there. Pretty different looking. Look, he's gonna get all defensive. I just want you to cross, buddy. He's hustling. He took it to heart. He's going, he's going. Come on. Just don't want to get run over out here myself. I'm trying to save this guy. Here's the bear. Looks like we've got a storm rolling in soon. And uh, here's this guy, another crayfish snake. That's awesome. I didn't, I don't know if it's like a timing thing with the storm or the time of year, but it's just cool to be seeing this species out, especially kind of in numbers like this. Hey. So 
that's kind of cool. All right, gonna let this guy go into the swamp here. That's so neat. Well, that was kind of strange. I uh, I just got pulled over by a bunch of police officers for uh, departing the lane and driving below the speed limit, which is kind of what you do when you're looking for snakes on the road. I was dodging frogs or something. I don't even know how long they were following me or like how they gathered that I was swerving lanes or anything because I didn't notice anything in particular, but maybe I was just dodging frogs or something. I don't know, but I had to uh, pretty adamantly convince them that I wasn't drunk or high, and they're telling me that my eyes look red and stuff like that that I'm liking. <laughs> Been out hiking all day. I don't even really think my eyes look red, but anyway. <laughs> um, I'm uh, where I'm about to camp for the night. I'm gonna get after it in the morning, but that's gonna be a different video. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, otherwise I will catch you on the next one.